What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I do have a WWE action figure wish list for you guys. Yes, you guys know that San Diego Comic Con is coming soon. It is literally like two weeks away, two and a half weeks away. I think it's July 18th through the 21st. San Diego Comic Con is the biggest action figure con of the year. They always bring out new reveals. Every single figure company in the world goes to San Diego, California and they have this big massive cons where, where fans can come and they reveal all of the brand new action figures that will be coming out to us this year and into early 2020. And I'm super excited for it guys. Mattel always delivers here and and today we're going to be running through my wish list, the figures that I want to see from Mattel coming into San Diego Comic-Con. And we've discussed a little bit of them, but not in full, full detail. And uh, I tried to keep it to a minimum. I tried to keep it to the ones I want the absolute most. So uh, if, if there's any in, anything in here that I missed, please let me know down in the comment section below. One thing that did miss the list, guys, is Leo Rush. Leo Rush did not make the list because I think he got released by WWE. I don't know if it's official just yet, but if you go to his Instagram page, he's talking about independent bookings and everything like that. So I don't know. I, I just don't think Leo Rush is with WWE anymore. I don't think it's hit the surface yet or something. I'm not sure exactly, but I love Leo Rush and I really wanted a figure of him, but it looks like we are probably not going to get that ever. So I guess we'll have to see, but let's go ahead and get into the list, guys. Starting off, we have two versions of Seth Rollins. We have the Thanos SummerSlam version, and that is a render that I made on the left. And then we have my custom Elite Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins. And the reason both of these are on here is because, first of all, I love Seth Rollins. I'm a big Seth Rollins fan. Second of all, I think that Mattel always makes Seth Rollins. They always make the Seth Rollins figures, and uh, they have to make these, right? I don't think we'll get the full Thanos gear I think if they give us the Thanos gear, it will not include the right boot with the Infinity Stones on it, and it will not include the gold boot. I think it'll be the raw version that he wore. He came out and he had, uh, it was black kick pads and the, the Thanos pants and belt and all that good stuff. So it's like the same exact attire except two black kick pads and knee pads instead of the gold boot for the Infinity Gauntlet. So I wanted to include that one here. We always get Seth Rollins attires, if it, even if it's in battle pack form, but hopefully we get elites of these, and I wanted to put these two on here. I, I had to include them here. So I want official members of Seth Rollins in our collections of these two attires. Next up, guys, we're keeping it real with another Seth Rollins figure, but this time it is a head scan, and I threw in another Roman Reigns head scan, and uh, both of these were made by my man's BEW underscore animations on Instagram. Gotta plug him there because this beautiful work definitely needs a shout, and if I'm using an image of it, I definitely wanted to show it off here. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. Let's, let's see. Both of these are ponytail head scans or man bun head scans. And they both look fantastic. He used the top talent Seth Rollins head scan. And then I think this is the Elite 62 Roman Reigns head scan, if I'm not mistaken. But we have never gotten a man bun Roman Reigns, guys. We have never gotten a man bun Roman Reigns. We've had a man bun Seth Rollins before in Elite Series 25. But I wanted to include this here. I think it's about time we get a Roman Reigns, whether it be in promo gear or with a new vest or whatever the hell the case is. I definitely want a man bun Roman Reigns. And I wanted to include it here. So Roman Reigns in man bun with Seth Rollins. An updated Seth Rollins head scan would be fine. That's that's another thing here. I think for both of these guys, even if it's not man bun, I would really like an updated head scan. I want a serious version of the top talent Seth Rollins head scan. I think that would be beautiful. More like the Elite 37. That's something I really want to see from Mattel at San Diego Comic Con. Next up guys, we do have another head scan and you guys know how I feel about this. My boy Rodney made this Finn Balor head scan on the left and he sent me one in a fan mail package and it's probably one of my favorite things in my collection is this accurate representation of a faded beard Finn Balor. I want to see a tapered faded Finn Balor haircut and beard for a non-demon Finn Balor head scan and I, I still don't think, I think the top talents head scan is probably the closest we've gotten to a good Finn Balor head scan. I, I want a new Finn Balor head scan particularly with the faded nice long beard, thick beard sculpted on there with the faded haircut and I want more likeness to Finn Balor. I feel like they still haven't done him quite enough justice in the head scan department for Finn Balor so I am hoping to see this from Mattel at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con with a nice freaking faded beard man. It's freaking beautiful. He has one of the best beards in the game. I want to have the faded haircut into the faded beard and it be sculpted on there nice and painted up nice and have a good look for Finn Balor. I really want that in my collection officially from Mattel. Even though my boy RKO1974 from Instagram hooked me up with one, my boy Rodney hooked me up with one, I still want one for Mattel and I want you guys to be able to get one and I, I want a bunch of them. It's not like, you know, I shouldn't have to rely on Rod. I want to see, you know, Mattel make one and have it pumped out to the public so everybody can have it and make it all look nice. But next up guys, let's talk about Buddy Murphy. Yes, Buddy Murphy, I do not know. I think I found this 
on Google somewhere. I just typed in Custom Elite Buddy Murphy, and you guys know that I got one from Nick's Custom Toys on Instagram, and it was beautiful as well. And I didn't have like a clear image of it here. I know it's ridiculous. I own the figure, but I don't have a clear image of it. But here, I think it is vitally important. They could use some new molds here. They could give us the torn up shorts that Buddy Murphy wears, and this is a perfect time to do so. You know, he's been a big part of wrestling in 2018 and 19. You know, putting on great matches. So I think that it is very imperative that we get Buddy Murphy in figure form here. We have to have an elite of Buddy Murphy, guys. I mean, it is it is pretty much a 100% fact that we need a Buddy Murphy in elite form, and this figure looks nice. I would really like to see how Mattel does that torn up shorts look from Buddy Murphy, so I am very excited to see what that will look like, and I think we will see him, and hopefully we do. So Buddy Murphy is definitely on my list. Next up, guys, we have a NXT TakeOver Johnny Gargano here in the Punisher gear. This is made by the NWF on Instagram. Very amazing customizer. There, There's actually two figures in this video. One of them is this Johnny Gargano. Look how beautiful this thing is. It's absolutely perfect. Punisher is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I'd probably put him at second, and it looks so gorgeous. He, he nailed this figure, and and I doubt we get this attire because of, you know, the Punisher logos and stuff like that. We always get the ones that, you know, don't have specific logos. And with this skull that clearly is Punisher, it's, it's got like the Punisher font on it. I highly doubt we get it. But you know what? I, I This is my wish list, by God. And I'm going to put my wishes on there. It's like my Christmas wish list. You know, I put a pony on there. I know I'm not going to get a pony, but I freaking want a pony. I put it on the freaking list. It's my wish list, right? So I put it on there, and uh, we'll see what happens. I highly doubt we get it, though. Uh, another figure by the NWF, guys, is an Elite Drew Goo. You guys know we do have a basic form of Drew Gulak, but I think that we should get an elite of Drew Gulak. I think that uh, a lot of 205 guys should be represented here, and I'm going to put this out on a limb. I'm going to say that this represents any 205 Live guys that we do not have just yet. I know we're getting a Davari basic. We got the Tony Nese basic. We have a Drew Gulak basic, but we really want these guys in elite form, man. I mean, we want to pose these guys around. We want to have some cool setups and some good figures and set up our own 205 Live shelf. You know, we've had Cedric. We've had TJP. We've had Rich one, two of which are not even in the company anymore, but uh, we're getting Mustafa Ali, and uh, we, we need Buddy Murphy, we need Drew Gulak, we need Tony and Nice in Elite form, so I wanted to add Drew Gulak here and include it. So there is Drew Gulak, and that figure was made by the NWF again. Uh, next up, guys, we do have a Kurt Angle figure, and I can confirm that we are getting a Kurt Angle figure in a singlet, and they're going to change the body mold, I'm pretty sure is what I've been told or what's on the rumor mill. There is actually a Kurt Angle in the works. It's probably going to have the Epic Moments Milk Mania head scan is what I've heard. And uh, that is, uh, that's disappointing, honestly. I would like to see a new Kurt Angle head skin, but I am not going to fault it because I really want an attire like this. I want to see, if you guys don't know already, Kurt Angle wears my favorite boots in all of wrestling history. I love these boots here with the navy, the white, and the red. This custom was made by my boy Mac underscore decals on Instagram. Fantastic customizer. And these boots are some of my favorite in all of professional wrestling. I want to see how Mattel makes them. I know that the colors would look good and they would look great on other figures. So I would love to grab a few of these, throw these boots on other Kurt Angles that we've gotten from Mattel, and uh, this is something I want to see. I want to see this attire. I think this is No Mercy 2001 or Unforgiven 2001. I can't remember. I think it's No Mercy 2001 where he took on Stone Cold Steve Austin, and I really want to see this from Mattel. I think it's going to come with a great, it's true, it's true, it's true t-shirt, and um, I would love to see this. I want to see final images of that. I don't know. I don't think it was canceled, so this is something I really want to see from Mattel. And uh, so the next figure that we have, guys, is Kurt Angle. And then the next one we're talking about is Dolph Ziggler, guys. You guys know that Elite Dolph Ziggler is in Elite Series 70, and he is the chase figure. So these are the three attires I would like to see. Either Royal Rumble 2018, the, uh, the, the zebra yellow and black stripes that he took on Seth Rollins with the Intercontinental Championship and jacket. And then we have the other time he took on Seth Rollins in the pink and white Hollywood heel attire. I would take any three of these. You guys know I'm a big Ziggler fan, so I'm down for any of these. I'm not even gonna, you know, complain. I don't really care what attire it is, as long as it's not black. I really don't want a black attire, guys, because we've had black attires of him before. We had the Elite 48. It was a black attire. We've had many black attires of AJ Styles. I want to see some color, some pink, some silver, some yellow, something cool, and so this is what I want here with Dolph Ziggler. Any of these three would be fine, but any attire, even his Evil Knievel inspired attire, would be fine with me, but there is the next figure I cannot wait to see, and we know we're going to see it. This is just attires that I'd like to see from Dolph Ziggler. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have another custom, and it is Matt Riddle. I think that we need to see a Matt Riddle 
from Mattel. Whether it's just the render, I'm sure we'll see tons of renders, guys. You know they always love to unveil a ton of renders in the little, you know, presentation portion. They pull up the, the PowerPoint presentation. They have like dozens and dozens of render figures, and I think that Matt Riddle will be included on there if we don't get a prototype image of it. So I'm going to go with Matt Riddle. This was made by BEW again, and he's an amazing customizer. This Matt Riddle is beautiful, and I don't care if it's in his debut attire with sandals. I don't care if it, you know, if it, maybe it can come with a hat, the jacket, or the entrance shirt and the sandals would be really cool. I think the sandals are a must. I think that would be really awesome to see Mattel include the sandals. So there is uh, Matt Riddle. I think he'll be on there. That is one of my wishes. Next up, guys, we have a Becky Lynch. And I know you guys are saying, well, MDT, we have like a million Becky Lynches. Well, Brad, we don't have a good Becky Lynch. Every single head scan that that, uh, that Mattel has given us for Becky Lynch looks nothing like Becky Lynch. So I think that Becky Lynch seriously needs to be at, at San Diego Comic-Con here, and they need to use the True Effects technology, and we need to get a, a Becky Lynch that actually looks like Becky Lynch. So I put this on here. This is also made by BEW Animations, and it looks beautiful. This is the best Becky Lynch figure I've ever seen in my entire life, and I had to include it here. So I did want to put Becky Lynch on here, and she is probably my favorite talent in the women's division right now uh, with Bailey and Ember Moon and Asuka. So I wanted to include her here, and this figure looks phenomenal, and I think that it did, we definitely need a Becky Lynch. I just think they always screw up the eyes, man. We really need um, a better-looking eyes here, but Becky Lynch was had to be on this list. Next figure, guys, is an updated R-Truth. I don't have a figure here, but you guys know we've gotten R-Truth in the past. I think we've had three or four elite R-Truths in the past, and I know that we're probably not going to get an R-Truth with the 24-7 Championship. I think it's too early. We may get a render of the 24-7 Championship with an updated R-Truth. That is something that I could see happening on the PowerPoint presentation Pulling up an R Truth render with the, you know the updated hair on the head with the headband, and then have the 24 cha 7 championship as an accessory, and uh, I think that that could totally be possible. But if we do get a, a prototype or a final figure made of R Truth, I would definitely see it coming with the United States Championship because he was the champion for a while there, and I could definitely see him having the United States Championship because he was that before the 24 7 title was made. So that is something I I think we'll see from Mattel. That is something I want to see. And the last two figures, coming up on the last two figures, guys, the first one here we talked about in the last video, both of them we did talk about. The first one is a mid-2000s Shawn Michaels. I think this is the WrestleMania 24 attire where he took on Ric Flair and retired Ric Flair, and that is what I want to see here. The wristbands aren't accurate on this. This is just white wrist tape, but I really want to see that, uh, the red and white pants. Any long pants in red, black, white, whatever would be fine with me. I know in the Elite 3 we got some black pants from Shawn Michaels, but I really want to see red in it thrown in there white thrown in there and so I wanted to include that Shawn Michaels here we talked about in that video talking about the San Diego comic-con reveals that we're about to get so I wanted to throw it in here again and the last figures that I want to see from Mattel I know we're not going to get all of these but you know what it's my wish list I can load it up if I want the last figures that we have guys is the Undisputed Era in the War Games attire and I think this is possible I think that Adam Cole at least at the very least will be made but I am putting all four members on here Roderick Strong we still don't have an elite of him just yet I know NXT Target Exclusive Series 5 is dropping soon and he is supposed to be in that wave but it is before he joined the Undisputed Era so I'd like to see an Undisputed Era Roddy Strong and then I wouldn't mind seeing updated versions of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish and Adam Cole we already know we're getting Adam Cole in Elite Series 71 I do believe or at least Series 70, I can't remember. But uh, we are getting an Adam Cole, whether it be, you know, the, the War Games attire or the gray and yellow or whatever. I just want to see the War Games attire, guys. That that camo with the yellow looks so, so beautiful. And these these figures right here were made by Curb Stomp City Custom Decals, and I wanted to give him a shout there. So definitely go check him out for all of your decal needs for custom figures. But this is all the figures I could think of. I mean, I literally sat down. I went through it. I tried to think the best I could. I'm sure I'm missing a ton. I mean, a flashback Jeff Hardy would be fine. We know we're getting that in Elite Series 70. Uh, a flashback RVD would be beautiful. That is also on the list. I mean, there's a lot of figures that I could have put on here, guys. But um, I tried to narrow it down to the best ones or the ones that I thought would be the best. And again, Leo Rush would have made the list, but I think he is literally on his way out of WWE. I think he had a bunch of backstage heat or something. And like uh, a lot of people backstage just found him annoying and like very boastful or something. I'm, I'm, I don't know what the full story is, but that's just something I think is going to happen. But 
That is going to do it for today's video, guys. This video went a lot longer than I expected to, and I apologize for that. But I hope you guys did enjoy my list of uh, the figures that I want to see at Comic-Con from Mattel. I would love to know your list as well. Please comment down below, guys, what you think, what, what figures you you would like to see from Mattel at San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, hopefully we get to see a lot of these, man. I'm really looking forward to it. They always surprise us with some nice stuff, and I'm very excited. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.